What the F is a black job? according to Trump and the MAGA believers. In a seemingly puzzling statement even for Trump, who claimed during the presidential debate that migrants are coming to America to steal black jobs. Former President Donald Trump claimed that President Biden's policies were leading to rampant inflation, even though it's down, disproportionately affecting black and Hispanic families. He went further, alleging that the influx of millions of migrants were taking jobs from blacks and Hispanic Americans, but no other Americans. Seems like fear-mongering to a section of voters Trump needs to win, but could care less about. Matter of fact, the only time Trump references black and Hispanic Americans is to scare them into feeling that their life sucks. So what do they have to lose? Well, a lot. Trump's comments sparked a heated debate about what constitutes a black job. From lawyers to CEOs, people across various professions weighed in, highlighting the diversity and success of black Americans in all fields. Critics condemned Trump's comments as xenophobic and divisive, accusing him of using race to pit communities against each other for political gain. The NAACP and other voices emphasized that there is no such thing as a, quote, black job, asserting that black Americans excel a across industries. The issue became a flashpoint, with many calling for unity and equitable opportunities for all, while denouncing attempts to mischaracterize black workers and stoke racial tensions. Trump and his cult specialty, Make America Great Again, is a blatant rallying cry. Have you seen a Trump rally? The red, white, and blue have never felt so tainted. The slogans on cult members' t-shirts and the words flying out of their deplorable mouths are like bumper stickers. Crash, simplistic, but often funny. But what do you do when the leader of this childish, devoid of common sense, hostile to intelligence and and reason cult wants their messiah to rule America. We get a leader who feels he has a right to do and say whatever he wants because he has brainwashed his base into thinking blaming others and victimhood and scapegoating will somehow make America great again. All while having them turn a blind eye to potential criminality Trump has engaged in before, during, and after his presidency. When pressed about keeping classified documents knowing that the government wanted them back, Trump's response was to call the interviewer a nasty person, dodging the straightforward question and instead giving another one of his victimhood speeches about how he has forever been a draft-dodging, mistreated billionaire, sexual assaulter, patriot-loving American. We saw firsthand how Trump treats people who stand up to him and don't let him smear their name like he has to hundreds of decent Americans. The former president faced a trial for defaming E. Jean Carroll after already being found liable for sexually assaulting her in the 90s. His derogatory comments about women, calling them fat pigs and slobs, only adds to his disgusting legacy. Those Sigma males out there supporting Trump, what would you do if Trump made these same statements about your wife? your mother, or your daughter. Shit, I know what I'd do. His dubious denials about hush money to an adult film star further tainted his so-called moral standing, but yet evangelicals think he is the second coming. I didn't know Jesus got down like that. Who can forget Trump's misogynistic behavior, like boasting about grabbing women without consent? Again, I must have missed that in the Bible. It must have been after the verse condoning slavery. The pandemic response also raised more questions about Trump's character and moral compass, with journalists challenging his delayed actions while he defensively snapped back, not taking any responsibility responsibility for the country and the people he was supposed to protect and keep safe. Trump's cultural impact has created the toxic environment his rhetoric purposely fosters, particularly against women and minorities. Project 2025, a Trump-endorsed initiative which he now says he doesn't know anything about, even jokes about revoking the 19th Amendment, which grants women's right to vote, a chilling reminder of the regressive views Trump and his future administration hold. Trump's history of sexual misconduct is extensive, with numerous allegations spanning decades. Is this more of Jesus' teachings? Yet his supporters, and including many suburban white women, continue to rally behind him, bringing their daughters to his rally to hear him degrade women for their looks and appearance. This seems batshit crazy, especially given his disgusting and exploitative comments about young pageant contestants and his disdain for women in general. I would keep all the women of value in my life far away from someone like Trump. This is not about changing the hearts and minds of the devoted MAGA faithful, although I welcome them back to the world of reason. It is a call to recognize the power of women and people who support just treatment for all, to remember that Trumpism isn't about fun or progress or even about making America great again. It's about division and control and making one constituency more powerful in America and forcing their religious beliefs on the population through Supreme Court decisions. It's a critical moment. Every election is one where the stakes are high and the need for unity and resistance against such divisive rhetoric has never been greater. We have an opportunity to end this divisive and destructive force in America and start to build on America's greatness. But it can only be done together with a leader who cares about this country more than himself and that ain't Trump. America has never been great for everyone and even the privileged have been let down by America. But if we don't get our shit together, there will be no America to make great again. We will be like all the other failing democracies, willingly or unwillingly ready to entrust our future and the futures of our children to a small group of powerful, ego-driven people whose main goal is to become richer and more powerful regardless of how many people it negatively affects.